Hi, Rod, K8RR for DX Engineering. Uh, during the uh, coronavirus crisis, uh, we're uh, sheltering in place at home, and so I'm going to do this video uh, to uh, show uh, an antenna that I have in my backyard. I live in a city lot, uh, and it's a, a pretty uh, regular kind of uh, small city uh, environment uh, where there is noise, but I've been able to do good with uh, some uh, special antennas that I'm going to show now. So uh, let's uh, let's go around the backyard here and take a look. Uh, flip it around, and there's the uh, the back of the old house uh, that I picked up uh, because I'm a cheap ham. It's an old fixer upper. It's cheap. I got nice uh, chain link fence uh, next door, so we got to keep away from that. And uh, standing water in the backyard. And uh, this uh, this backyard is uh, this uh, back part of the backyard behind the uh, the garage is uh, about 50 by 50, and so I'm able to uh, uh, put in a, a complete radial system there. In the middle of the yard is a, a DX engineering radial plate, and I didn't even uh, blow all the leaves out of the way. But uh, this is a DX engineering radial plate uh, with uh, wire verticals attached. We've got the coax coming up out of the ground and the and the uh, the radial plate there has the coax connector mounted, a bulkhead connector mounted to the radial plate uh, right there. And then a feeder wire that goes up to a shunt coil. That's the DX engineering VMM1. And then I've got three wires. So it's basically a uh, fan vertical. Uh, similar to a fan dipole, but uh, what you can't see very well is the fact that there's 60 radials going out in all directions. They're already under the grass. Grass grows up over them and they disappear. So here, floating around right here, we have the uh, 40 meter wire. And over here, the two, the white and the black, on the glass insulator, the black one is 80 and the white one is 160. So I'm going to follow that all the way up, up into the tree. Beautiful day. And then, of course, we're going to lose it because it goes up over the high branches, I think at about 55 or 60 feet up, and then it goes towards the front, out over the branches. It hooks up to a rope and a pulley that's connected to another rope over the house and held up by the tree out in the front of the house. Now, it's a good thing I wore my, uh, my boots <clears throat> because it's wet and muddy out here. But that's, uh, that's that antenna. The 80 meter wire goes up at another angle separated. Now initially I had, it's the black one there, initially I had the uh, the 160 and the 80 running and tuned quite nicely for the CW portions of those bands. Could work some sideband too, but not too far up the bands. And then I added the 40 meter wire and that uh, shifted the 160 and the 80 down. Here's the 40 meter wire that goes up at another angle up to another tree branch high. So it's possible, I still have some work to do on it, but it's possible to get 160, 80, and 40 all from the same feed point. And uh, that's worked out quite well. So that's uh, what I'm using on those bands here at K8RR. And uh, it's a good thing uh, that uh, there's ways of uh, getting things done that don't cost a lot of money for uh, some of us uh, frugal hams. So uh, we'll check you out next time here uh, for DX Engineering. Give us a call and, and uh, because we're open, we're running, we're shipping, and uh, of course, uh, Contact us at dxengineering at dxengineering.com if you have any questions uh, by, by email. 
Take care.